Hello, Vogue. I'm so excited for my 73 question. No. Oh. Hi, AD. Welcome to. What? Hello, MTV. Welcome to my. Welcome to my studio apartment tour. the apartment tour. Very first look at my studio apartment. It is mostly decorated but there are still a lot of blank walls as you can see and some boxes that you'll see here and there so it's not 100% done but it's mostly done and I honestly can't contain myself anymore and I wanted to show you guys. We're gonna start right here with the entryway. Obviously if you know from the last apartment the friends frame had to come because I love friends but also this was in my very first apartment so it, it was a stable and then over here we have this beautiful like shelving layout i absolutely love how it turned out i feel like this is a lot of my personality on a few shelves so i love it of course fake plant to really top off the entryway no one knows it's fake unless i tell you just a couple little knickknacks right here i actually really really love this little picture frame it came from my parents house and it is now with me i may eventually hang it on the wall but for now it's down here. As you can tell, the walls are very blank. I don't know what I wanna do. TBD, that's like more nitty gritty. I'm not there yet. What I do know is that this wall needs something and I have something. Is this not the best thing you've ever seen in your life? And tell me this doesn't look like Daphne. It's gonna go right here and I can't wait to hang it up. But I don't have any nails yet, so I'm just showing it to you so you're just as excited as me. Next up is my bedroom. What I really like about the bedroom even though it's technically a studio apartment, there is a wall separation, kind of. But what I love about it is this sliding door. It's just unique and cool. I don't know what it's called, a farm door, French door, sliding door, it's just a door, but I love it. So come on in, let's check out the bedroom. The bedroom is still a little bit bland because I really want to take time to personalize it and really make the room what I want it to be. As you know, from my last apartment, I spent a lot of time reorganizing and redecorating because I feel like your room and the space that you spend the most time in should really reflect who you are as a person, what makes you comfortable, calm, all of those good things. So she's a little bland right now, but I'm working on it. Of course, Daphne's cat tree had to come with me to the new place. She loves it. And if you get a load of this, you'll notice that this top wall does in fact not connect to the ceiling, which is how I think they got away with calling it a studio apartment because yes, there's a wall, but like, is it really a wall if it doesn't go to the ceiling? So Miss Daphne Marie loves her cat tree. And yes, she has gone from here to there. She absolutely loves to go on top of the cabinets in the kitchen. It's like her new favorite thing. You'll see what I mean when we get out there. This mirror has come all the way with me from my childhood bedroom. It used to be this like old white Ikea mirror, but my mom and I, mostly my mom, helped me DIY it. And it's this beautiful gold mirror. We added like all these little embellishments here to the top. I really, really like it. As you can tell, she is hanging out on the floor though right now because I don't know where she's gonna go. And she's very heavy, so I'm not really confident in hanging it on the wall. And as you can tell also, if you were around in my last apartment, there is no Ikea dresser. She's gone. I moved that back to my parents' house because I didn't need it anymore and my mom wanted to use it for storage, so it's gone. And of course, the bed right in the middle. I did end up getting this new bed frame. It's really, really pretty. It's actually, you guys, from Amazon. I am so surprised at the quality and how nice it is how easy it was to install. I ended up selling my old Ikea bed frame. I just didn't like it anymore. I also always ran my shin into the very end of it, so had to go. I love this one. It's just like really soft. There's like fabric at the top. It has like a nice curved design. Chef's kiss, so good. And right here is my temporary bedside table because I'm very picky with bedside tables and I really wanna get one that I'm gonna like. And as you can tell, I did not bring my last bedside table with me. I sold that as well because I just didn't like it. And it was like really short to the ground. So I'm waiting to get a new one. So for now, it's a box. <laughs> 
but that's my lamp from my last place, which I like. So as you come through the bedroom here, we have the closet right here, and then we have the washer and dryer right here. The closet is a hot mess express, so I'm not gonna show you that right now, but I do wanna show you the washer and dryer, even though it's not that interesting, but let me show you. So it is a stacked washer and dryer. Great space saver. I also am really excited about this. I got this little door hanger off of Amazon to just put some of my detergent and different like stain remover things, my wool dryer balls in here. I'm just like really excited about this because I didn't have anywhere else to put the detergent because this area is so small. So highly recommend an over the door hanger organizer. Okay, so moving on, coming back to the living room. This also has made a reappearance from my last apartment. This covers the like mechanical maintenance box. It's amazing. A subscriber actually sent this to me. She has an Etsy shop called Lavender and Buckle. I can link it in the description of this video, but it's my favorite thing ever. And the fact that she custom made me this so it could hide this ugly box is amazing. So I cherish it and I love it so much. Welcome to the living room, the workspace, and the kitchen. What I decided to do was move my standing desk out into the living room because in my last apartment, I had this in my bedroom and I definitely feel like now that I have my own space, I can work out here and not feel like I'm disrupting anybody else. And also I really wanna separate where I relax and sleep from my work. So moving it out here so far has been like a really good idea. So I'm really happy about this little corner workspace. And of course I have my podcast set up, which if you didn't know, I have a podcast. It's called Girl on the Internet. You can stream it wherever you listen to podcasts. And my vision board for 2023, because you always wanna hang a vision board or mood board where you can see it all the time and I can see it all the time because I'm always in here. One of my favorite parts of my desk is this live on air sign that my best friend Connor got for me. Let me show you how amazing it is. You click it on. Isn't that so cute? At some point, I think I do want to hang it on the wall. I just, again, I don't know where I want to put it, but I love it. It's so cute when I'm like recording. I'm like live on the air. So moving on from the workspace is the living room, which I am the most proud of. You're gonna recognize some things from the last apartment, but that's okay because we are resourceful around here. First of all, this Ikea mirror. I did get the Hovet mirror, H-O-V-E-T. I don't know how you pronounce it. I love this. I feel like it opens the space a lot more as well. It's a very, very tall mirror, as you can tell. I have my one real snake plant right here, which again, this has come with me since my first apartment. So this snake plant is almost four years old and it's going strong. Mom, I hope you're proud of me. I have not killed it. Now the TV stand is new. I actually ended up getting this from a friend that was selling it. I absolutely love this TV stand so much. I love the minimal look to it. It's very sturdy and I like to display some things that are little, Depictions of me, of course. Cameras everywhere, greenery everywhere. I have picture frames waiting to put some pictures in there, of course. So yes, really, really love this. I think <gasps> Daph came to um, join the apartment tour, but I think this came from Wayfair, although I did get it from a friend and I really, really like it. I think Daph does too. Sometimes I find her sitting on the shelves. And I know you guys have seen the couch before because the couch did come from the last apartment. Remember during Black Friday when I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a new couch. Um, I knew I was moving for quite a while. I just didn't tell the internet. So it was kind of planned all along that I was gonna get my own couch to move in with. And it is the comfiest thing ever. It's from World Market. It's like the cloud couch dupe, kind of. It's so good. Daphne loves it, it's great. I love a good like low couch to the ground. It's very nice. And then I have my little coffee table, which again, this came from the last apartment. And I just, again, I like the geometric shape to it underneath. Also, I showed these in a haul a while ago, but my coasters that I'm so excited about, they are different types of cats, which is very important to me. So if you come over and you have a drink with me, I'm gonna let you pick a cat coaster. Comment below and tell me which cat you are. It's very important to me to know which one you are. But last thing I wanna talk about was this rug. At the last apartment, we did not have a rug. We did, but we got rid of it and then we just like never replaced it. Shout out to my Aunt Cheryl. She gave me this beautiful rug. It has like grays and creams in it. In my brain, I feel like there's a little bit of blue, but I don't think there's actually any blue 
could be because the couch is blue. And of course, last but not least, the windows I could not be happier about. The lighting in my last apartment, not great. I mean, there was a window, it was okay, but this has like beautiful daytime lighting. So much light just beams in and I love it so much. And of course, like right now it's about 5 p.m. and the lighting is just so good. It Lighting just makes me really happy. And of course it makes Daphne happy as well when it beams in, hits the carpet, the couch, whatever. She can really enjoy the sunlight as it beams in. I also got rid of the vertical blinds. They were quite heinous. So I tore them down, even though I'm renting this place. And uh, they're stored under the couch until I move out. So that is the little story with the windows. Moving on into the kitchen, which of course is the best part because I love to cook. I like to make videos of cooking, all that good stuff. So first let's talk about this island, which I really, really like. It is actually on wheels, which is super cool. So I'm not gonna show you that it moves, just take my word for it, but it's on wheels. So if I'm gonna move it out of the way, move it closer, further, it's really cool for that reason. And if you wanna check out this side, I have these two super deep drawers on the island, which of course I've already organized and everything. This one is like the inevitable sort of junk drawer, which like right of passage, everybody has that. But this drawer, I'm so excited about. This is my coffee drawer. Oh, look at that. So many Nespresso pods, Chamberlain coffee, matcha. It's like my favorite thing in this apartment. Just the fact that this drawer was deep enough to hold all of my Nespresso orders. It's just like it was meant to be and it closes perfectly. I could not be more thrilled. If we turn our attention to this part of the kitchen, this is my little coffee station, little coffee corner. And the reason I put this here and the coffee stuff here is because they are right across from each other. So it's like perfect. But yes, my little Nespresso machine, I have some straws. Right above that is like all my cups, mugs, drinking glasses. I got these little fun glasses at Ikea. I'm not even a big drinker, but like, will I put an Olipop in this and sip on it? Yes, I will. And just kind of moving down the line, I just have like my normal dishware in here. These plate bowls I am obsessed with. They're from Target. I don't wanna eat off a regular plate ever again. I just wanna solely eat off of this. It's just like a deep plate bowl. I don't know what you call them, but I love it. We're just gonna let this happen, okay? I'm a single mom working two jobs here. It's my child. This is all of my glassware and like organization stuff. You guys know when I like meal prep, I'm super big on storing stuff and putting it away and like, you know, prepping like my mixed greens, my blueberries, my strawberries, things like that. Um, big fan of glassware. And as you can see, I got these little dividers as well to kind of separate and just buy more space to put things like the lids. So I'm really happy with how this came out. And I kind of have the same thing going on here, but just like some more jars and stuff, vases for flowers, mason jars. Moving on to this cabinet, I am very excited about. I definitely could have done this at my last place living with Logan, but this was just like, I had to do this on my own because I'm crazy. But look at my spices. I could not be more excited. But I actually found that the grocery store that I go to, one of them is the Fresh Market and they sell their spices in bulk. That way they are cheaper because you're not paying for the container. You're just paying for the spice so I can go fill up my little spice jars and save a container. So I love it, I'm obsessed. Over here is just like snacks and stuff. I have a couple of snacks in here. It's kind of like my pantry. Also have some snacks and some bars in this little drawer little like clips and stuff slay slay she really thinks she's like the queen of this place but like she is it's daphne's world we're all just like living in it the counter space that is just like really shows off who i am a little bit have my little salt rock lamp right here and my little london picture as you know from my last apartment london map was hanging on my wall but again i have nothing hanging on my wall yet so it's living in the kitchen for now the mini cheese grater has made its grand return and is living again on top of the stove. Then just a few things like a new air fryer that I got, a little candy dish for whenever you come over. Seasonal candies. Right now we have the Reese's eggs for like spring and Easter. Enjoy. I have my wood cutting boards. This is a soap dispenser that I got off of Amazon. I'm very excited about this. This is like a totally 
weird thing that I'm geeking out about and most people would think it's lame, but it came empty and you can like make your own soap, but not just any soap. It's a foam dispenser. <gasps> I made that myself. Isn't that crazy? Highly recommend. I will link a lot of the things that I talked about in this apartment tour on my Amazon storefront or the things that I got on Amazon, but I'm very excited about the soap. That is pretty much all I have for the studio apartment tour. Thank you so much for coming along to check it out with me. I appreciate you guys so much being here week after week and being super interested in seeing what my apartment looks like. Did you see that? I'm so happy to be in my own space. Of course, I'm gonna miss living with Logan so much, but there is an element of excitement of living alone and just starting a new chapter and new videos on the channel of solo living and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. And of course, as I continue to redecorate, move things around, I am gonna share that with you guys. So be sure to be following me on Instagram, which is at sincerely.kayla. And of course, you'll see more in the YouTube videos, the vlogs, things like that. So make sure you're subscribed, you hang out for a little while because you don't wanna miss it. And you especially don't wanna miss Daphne. So thank you so much for watching. Go easy on yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Someone else that's okay.